everyone, it's Courtney with Courtney Tech. Um, it's Wednesday and I'm just going to do a quick little video right now and um, later on today I'll be posting a more thorough video once I get home. I'm actually getting ready to get into the meeting with Modern Labor, do our check-in, and then also uh, go do a workout before I code all day long. So right now it's like 1040 in the morning in Los Angeles. So anyways, um, I've been getting a lot of feedback again this week from people watching the videos on Instagram, LinkedIn, and all that stuff. And it seems like people still are a little bit confused as to how the application process works. So I wanted to touch on that real quick and let you know that what they're doing is for you guys is a little different than what they did for us. So in order to help weed out who will be able to like make it through the program, they're doing an assessment and you guys will be um, showing what problem solving skills that you have um, so that they can see that in the future you'll be able to use your resources to find solutions for the problems you may come upon while in the program or in the workforce. So you'll be doing an assessment based on some a little bit of coding. Um, they, like I said, are looking for people who know how to ship code, at least have hosted something online. And um, you also do some interviews. Uh, we did two interviews, so you might do an interview with Oliver and an um, interview with Francis. And um, the only way really to prepare is maybe do a little project on Udemy or something um, just to practice even knowing what code is. So um, after getting feedback from us and things like that, they do want to see people that know how to do a little bit of code. So you can't be like a pure beginner, and if you are, it's really easy to just crank out a quick project. Like a basic project is better than no project. Um, when you have the interview with them, they're going to ask about that also. Um, this is going to be a short video, so don't feel bad. I'm going to post another one in about, I would say, like three or four hours. Give me some time, and then I'll give you more feedback on how my week went last week. But for now, why don't you get to coding? So there's free code camp, there's Udemy, there are so many different YouTube tutorials, and that's what I would recommend you doing um, before, if you're really nervous about the assessment and stuff, before doing the assessment. But anyways, I'll talk to you soon and uh, give you more feedback, okay? Have a great day, and I'll see you later.